watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, I used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Bond, and I'm so glad that you tune in today. I want to continue on today's program talking about Psalm 103. Psalm 103 tells us that we have benefits as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have many wonderful benefits. and uh, But the sad thing, there's a lot of Christians that they are not living with their benefits. That's right, they are not enjoying their benefits. And uh, so I want to encourage you uh, that, that first of all, you need to call your friends and neighbors and remind them that the Good News Program is coming on so they can hear about this too. They can hear about the benefits that belongs to them so they can begin to experience them. And so I'm excited about this teaching today. First of all, I'm going to share a song with you. Uh, and this song here is dedicated to mothers. You know, Mother's, uh, mother's Day is May the 12th. And so it's right down the road. And I want to share some songs today that I know will be a blessing to you mothers. And this one here is Where the Roses Never Fade. And I have been told by a lot of mothers that they really enjoy this song. And my mother is one of them. She loves the roses. And so I trust that you will enjoy this song. And a little bit later, I'll be sharing another one that I know that the mothers will really enjoy. So you enjoy this song. And I'll be back in a few moments with our teaching segment. Stay tuned. streets of gold are paved and where the tree of life is blooming and the roses never fade Beauty is decay. I am going to a city where the roses never fade. Now in this world we'll have our trust. Satan snares we must evade, but we'll be free from all temptations where the roses never fade. Beauty will decay. I am going to a city where the roses never fade. Now they're waiting 
for me to come on along where the roses never fade Beauty will decay. I am going to a city where the roses never fade. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that song, Where the Roses Never Fade. I tell you, like I said earlier, my mother sure loves the roses, and I do too. And God gave me a love for uh, all flowers and all living things many years ago, and I really just enjoy God's creation concerning the flowers and the trees and all of that. And it just, it, uh, it, just shows us life. When you see a flower blooming, it reminds you of life and vitality. And so I want to continue today talking about the benefits that God has provided for us as believers. And uh, there are many benefits that are available to us. And we can find some of those in Psalm 103. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Now, notice that he uses the word benefits here. Now, just like if you uh, got a job, you probably have certain benefits uh, on your job. You know, you might have insurance or you might have a paid vacation. And uh, some jobs, I mean, they have a whole benefit package. And so it's the same thing as a believer. When you accept Jesus as your Savior and Lord and you become a child of God, you get a benefit package, so to speak. <laughs> and so it goes on to tell you what your benefits are. First of all, it says, who forgives all your iniquities? Now, we talked a lot about this on the last program, so I'm not going to cover everything I did last time. But that is... I believe that would be the greatest benefit of being a believer, that all your sins and iniquities have been forgiven. And we're going to come back to that a little bit. But first, let me go on reading. He then says, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And so going back to the first one, talking about the forgiveness of sins, Isaiah 53, 7 says that he will abundantly pardon. Jeremiah 33, 81 says, I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned and by which they have transgressed against me. You see, God chose to forgive mankind of number one, original sin, but then also of personal sin. See, there's two different types or phases of sin. Number one, we have to look at the fact that when Adam and Eve sinned in the beginning, that death came upon the whole human race. And every person from then that is born again, I mean, that is born, is born in sin. And that's why we need to be born again. And that's what we call original sin. But when a person uh, sins personally, like when you lie or when you steal something, that's a personal sin. But God has provided forgiveness and remission of all sin, from original sin and from any personal sins that you might have done. Now, 
This is something that I didn't mention last time about this, but this is very profound, but it is very biblical. When God forgives, he forgets. You know how you probably heard somebody say before, well, I might forgive them for what they did for me, but I ain't going to forget it. No. See, God's not like that. When he forgives you, he forgets it. Well, somebody said, well, does God have amnesia? (laughs) No, he chooses to forget. One early church father actually said, God chooses to have divine amnesia. In other words, he just chooses not to remember your sin or not to hold your sin against you anymore. Hebrews 10, 17 says, their sins and their lawless deeds, I will remember them no more. And there's another scripture that says something like that he puts all your sins in the sea of forgetfulness. And then somebody else said that he puts a sign there that says no fishing. (laughs) don't go messing around. Don't try to dig your past up because your past is wiped away. That is the wonderful thing about God's forgiveness is he doesn't hold it against you anymore. You see, the new covenant uses this word called remission, which means to completely erase or do away with. Now, this is unlike the word that's used in the Old Testament, which is the word atonement. The word atonement means to cover. And see, whenever they sacrifice the animals for the sins of the people, the blood of the animals only covered their sin. So that's why they had to do it again and again and again. It's just like if you're sweeping... uh, uh, your kitchen and you, you know, you sweeping the dirt out and all of a sudden the doorbell rings and, and uh, you don't want nobody to see that dirt and you just sweep it under the rug and you put the rug back over the dirt. Well, you can't see the dirt, but guess what? It's still there. It's under the rug. What you have done, you have simply covered it up. Now, that's what we see in the Old Testament. But when Jesus went to the cross and he shed his precious blood for you and I, that did something different to sin. It didn't just cover it, but it erased it. This is an illustration that the Lord gave me a long time ago. Uh, You know, when I was in school, we had chalkboards. I I don't know if they still have them today, but they had the big old uh, black chalkboards and some classrooms had green chalkboards and, um, and they'd write on these chalkboards and when they would get through with the lesson that they wrote on the chalkboard, they'd just get the eraser and they would erase the chalkboard and that information would be gone. You better remember what it was because you couldn't get it back. It was gone. That's what God does with our sin. I mean, we got a blackboard that was full of sin but he took his divine eraser, which as a matter of fact, his eraser is in the shape of a cross. And he went to swiping on our blackboard and he erased all of our sin. That's why I say this has got to be the greatest benefit of the believer because our sins have not just been covered, my friend. Our sins have been erased completely wiped away. And that is an amazing thing. Only God could do that. You see, you know, I'm reminded of how, uh, you know, you may have a person that's in the prison and the governor will pardon that person, but he still can't wipe away the fact of what he did to be in prison. He can pardon him, but yet he's still guilty. But God even makes us guiltless. That's supernatural right there. Amen. So again, I believe this is the greatest benefit of the believer is to know that our sin has been completely remitted, completely erased. Well, I'm going to stop right here and uh, because I want to share another song with you. And when I come back, I'm going to say a special prayer with you. So stay tuned.
precious memories of saint angels sent from somewhere to my soul how they linger ever near me and the sacred past unfold precious memories how they linger and how they ever Flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Pray Father, a loving mother, fly across the lonely year, and old home scenes of my childhood. Pray precious memories flood my soul precious memories how they linger and how they ever flood my soul and in the stillness of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold now I I travel down life's pathway Know not what the years may hold As I ponder Hope grows fonder Precious memories flood my soul. Oh, precious memories, how they linger and how they ever flood my soul. In the stillness of the midnight Precious memories flood my soul Precious memories flood my soul Praise the Lord, friend. I sure hope you've been enjoying this teaching segment and, and enjoying this song. And uh, like I said, these songs that uh, I wanted to share with you today is especially to honor our mothers because Mother's Day is coming up in a few days. And, uh, and so I want you to know how much that we appreciate all the mothers. I appreciate my mother 
And uh, she has been such a blessing to me in my life and uh, because she's the one that introduced me to Jesus. So that's the, that's the greatest thing. And she has, she has taught me so much uh, as a child about the Lord. And I'm so thankful for my Christian heritage, so thankful for my mother. And I'm so thankful for you mothers for the sacrifices that you have made for your children and for your families. And I want you to know that we honor you today. And, uh, and also I know there are many people listening to us that, uh, you have not been, uh, experiencing the benefits that the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, has provided for you. Well, you can start today. And the first benefit that you need to experience is that benefit of the forgiveness of all your sins. Now, maybe you've already received that, but I know uh, because statistics tell us there are people watching today, they have never made that important step to accept Jesus as their Savior and Lord and have all of their sins erased and taken away. Well, you can start right now by saying a simple prayer, and then you can have the assurance that all your sins are wiped away. See, first of all, you need to admit your need for a Savior. See, because if you don't think you have a need... <laughs> For a Savior, you won't accept Him. Admit your need. Why do I need a Savior? Because the Bible says that I've been born in sin and I need to be born again. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so we need a Savior. Number two, we need to be willing to turn from our sin in our own way. Number three, we need to believe that Jesus died for us on the cross, that He paid the penalty for our sin and He rose from the grave. Can you believe that? And then number four, through prayer, simply invite him into your heart and life to control your life and simply receive the pardon and forgiveness that he offers you. Why don't you pray with me right now? Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus. I believe that he died for my sin and I accept you now as my Savior and my Lord. Come into my heart. I trust you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, the Bible says you are now a child of God and you have the assurance that none of your sin is being held against you anymore. He has cast it into the sea of forgetfulness and you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. And to rejoice with you, I want to send you a free gift. If you prayed that prayer and you received Jesus as Savior and Lord, I want to send you this book because it tells you what really happened when you prayed that prayer. It also tells you how to read your Bible, how to study, how to pray. And so call me today and get yours absolutely free. It's entitled, Now What? And call me at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's a toll-free number at 888-429-2280. If I'm not in the office, leave it on the answering machine and just say, I prayed with Brother Mike to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Please send me that book. And you can, uh, again, leave your information on the machine, but please leave a callback number in case we don't understand uh, your address we can call you back and get all that information. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing in your life today. And I want to invite you to come out and be with us for our next concert here at the Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana. Our next guest for June the 7th will be Randy and Sherry Miller. Now they are a couple that's so anointed and so blessed and Randy is a comedian also, and he, can, he plays many instruments. So you will be tremendously blessed by this couple, Randy and Sherry Miller. Once again, this will be our special guest for June the 7th at 6.30 p.m. For more information, visit our website at mvmgoodnews.com. Don't forget about our Sunday morning worship services every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. If you're passing through our area, be sure and stop by and worship with us. And also I want to share with you the May uh, special offer is our Songs About Heaven DVD. Now this is a DVD, not a CD. Songs About Heaven. This is 10 songs recorded right here at the Good News Fellowship Church in uh, different concerts. 
So for your special offer, call us today at 888-429-2280 for your gift of only $15, and I'll pay the postage and handling. The DVDs are usually $20 plus postage and handling. So call us today and get your special offer, 888-429-2280. And I never like to close our program without saying a special thanks to my friends and partners. Partners, you are the ones that make this outreach ministry possible. Thank you so much for giving and thank you for praying for us like you do. And if you're watching or listening by radio today and you hadn't become a good news partner, please pray about doing so because God is opening new doors for us but we need your help to go through these new doors and to go on new stations. So I ask you simply to pray about it. And if you need more partnership information, just call us or write to us, or you can visit our website at mvmgoodnews.com. Again, that's mvmgoodnews.com. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Heavenly Father, I ask you to touch my friends right now Heal the sick, strengthen the weak right now, and set the captives free. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. There's a life to live, but you got to choose. Well, I used to be singing the blues, but now I'm singing the new. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the new.